All right. Uh, on Thursday, the 3rd of May, the Tasmanian student chapter of the SEG visited Moana Mine. Uh, the Moana Mine's owned by African Copper and it's located about 1.5 hours or about roughly 120 k's north, uh, north, north west of Francistown. Uh, the deposit is, a, is essentially a highly deformed sediment hosted copper deposit um, and it's fairly closely located to Duckweed. Uh, the copper is predominantly hosted in a sub-vertical uh, north-northeast striking and, and steeply eastward dipping carbonaceous um, and argillaceous sediments. Uh, the sediments form part of the Paleoproterozoic um, Matsutama supergroup metasediments. Uh, the sediments are enclosed in um, Shear granites, and this all forms part of the regional Bushman lineament. The pure body itself contains um, mostly chalcosite and charcoal pyrite, which are hosted both within the sediments, pretches, and quartz calcite veins, um, which there are roughly three or so generations. The superficial portion of the deposit has been supergene enriched, uh, and oxidation reaches up to a maximum of about 70 metres in depth and uh, the mineralisation there has been supergene enriched and consists of several different species of copper carbonates and copper oxides uh, such as malachite, azure, etc. Uh, Moana is polydeformed, it's thrusted uh, with at least four periods of deformation that have been recorded uh, and this has resulted in the formation of a series of north-northeast the northeast striking uh, faults and these have smeared mineralization locally. Now, currently, African copper is, is mining open pit but is undergoing a pre feasibility for underground, for underground mining. All right. The Falcon Bridge decided to stop the exploration work. Then, uh, in 92, the scene that is now African copper. Uh, through its Botswana subsidiary, Messina acquired exploration rights. In 95, uh, Mont through its purchase of Messina, acquired exploration rights. In April 05, uh, Africa and Copa embarked on a new exploration program. A total of 58,000 meters were drilled up to 2008. So, when we briefly talk about uh, Moana, Takad, maybe I can just touch here and there. In terms of uh, where we are, uh, this is the, the road from Francis Town to Kemu. We are about 120 kilometers from Francis Town. Uh, we pass through that village in Sese. Then uh, we are now sitting somewhere there. So this is our license area, this one here. And that is our mine license area. Uh, the, this color here, this is our Granite, as you see further in terms of the geology of granite today, then uh, we have a shear zone here we call Pushman shear zone. Then we go in Antelite and back to granite. <coughs> and then uh, this side, which is further down this side, we have our Chakadu, which is another, that's where we are currently mining. It's about 87 kilometers from here. So, the summary of the geology here, uh, the Moana copper deposit is hosted within the north northeast striking, steeply dipping, steeply east dipping carbonaceous and delicious meta sediments. You see this in the pit. Then uh, the meta sediments are confined within the narrow regional Bushman shares of the one I was talking about previously. Uh, then we have so far from the studies to have been done. Uh, different views. The common one has been that there's been four periods of deformation, but Toby Davis, uh, a couple of years ago, came up with the six uh, deformations. Then the mineralization occurs within the sub-vertical epithermophores outside vein pressures. Again, we we'll see this in the pit. Uh, the mineralization here extends from Erasmus winds in the south to beyond the cortical pit in the north. Strike length of about at least four kilometers. Just to give you an overview, uh, so 
So we'll be basically talking about uh, this right lane here. This is the shear zone. This is granite. That is argillite. The blue is the limestone. And within this, there's a shear zone, and that is where our modernization is. <laughs> Okay, just hold on there. Um, again, I just want to um, mention that um, we've been doing, I just want to yeah, sure, sure. near mine exploration, some two kilometers further north. Mm -hmm. So uh, this extends, we, we've picked up mineralization for two kilometers uh, away from where we stopped. So yeah. that's, that's <coughs> getting two plus four, that's um, mm -hmm. potential six kilometers. Yeah. Is it the same? Sorry? Yeah, that was good on the other side. The mineralization or economic popularization occurs within a complex assemblage of five of them. There is no significant popularization occurs disseminated within the horse rock. So most of it is related to, to the journey. You can see the thickness there of our whole body is from less than 10 to about 80 meters wide. So it's actually pitching and wider. Then we have two types of uh, of uh, horse rocks. The first one is a, a white to light, smoky, gray, K-felt, but quasi, calcite quasi pressure. We call it here PXQC. Uh, wholly composed of three stages of hydrothermal vending. I'll show you that's in the next slide. And the second one is the, the dark gray to black K field spot. That's a quartz house profile depression. We call it PHCP. Again, we'll be able to see all those rocks in the pit. Those are the phases. We have three phases uh, of vending. The first phase uh, is just a quartz plus minus calcite. As, uh, that one is barren. And the second phase was a quartz calcite plus pyrite, <coughs> pyrite, salina or spalerite. And the third phase is now quartz calcite plus minor sulfur In terms of resources, as of uh, March 31st this year, uh, we have a measure of 69.6 million tons at 0.39, then indicated 69.1 million tons at 0.49, the total uh, 138.7, 0.44, and uh, in fact, which we need to upgrade is 81.5 million tons at 0.36. So now, for, from this, the pit is just going to mine just a very little fraction of this. What will remain is basically an underground resource. Like Harold is asking, when are we going to start the underground? We are actually doing pre feasibility studies at the moment for underground uh, mine. And one of the reasons why we have stopped operations here is to see if we can, instead of mining from the pit, if it will be more economical to mine for underground. So of, yeah, that is already because there have been a lot of <laughs> suggestions. Yeah, some level of carrying the sort of yeah. 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 So, yeah, there are some uh, feasibility studies going on, I think. <sighs> There's a company, AMC from Australia, you know, about it? Yeah, there's a company from AMC there helping us with the pre feasibility study for underground scope. I don't know whether you're interested in Takado as well, or we just talk about one. Okay. Pit. We are in the north of the pit. That one I was saying is the conical pit will be further north of, of that space there. So this is going south. Now you remember uh, on the on, I was talking about granite. That that rock over there is granite. Then from granite, we come in the yeah, that side, we have limestone, yeah. then the brescia, which is terminated. So you remember the post I was showing? That old body, which is that one coming like that, it just terminates here. And then we have this other old body coming up this side, that black stuff there. So basically, we have like a fort system, which is 
move the this to that side. Then uh, here where we are standing, we are now in Azulai. But going further this side, we, we go back in granite. So this is our share zone, which is cutting through here. And you're saying that the transfer fault has moved the ore deposit from over Yeah, here because uh, if you go further north, that which is just behind, you can see that back stuff there. That is our share zone. As you go further north, that becomes the main ore body. This one just disappears from it. Yeah. So, uh, where can we see rocks nicely? Okay, it's just a little refresh from where we were. From the slide, we were looking at uh, the structures, then we looked at uh, forts. So, for example, this, where we are standing here, is our main ore body. And we talked about oxides. Uh, this? Oh, it's behind the... Yeah, yeah. We're talking about oxides. So you can see, basically, here we are seeing oxides. Here we are, we are we're just about 30 meters from surface. So we are not deep yet. And we are also saying our our mineralization is to start off with the oxides, then you go in the supergene, then you go in sulfides. But we also said within this zone, like here where we are, it's possible to find the oxides, supergene, and sulfides. Yeah. So here where we are, uh, our ore body basically terminates. If you look at the structures, again, we're looking at the forts, our ore body terminates here because you can't see it in that face. All that you can see in that face is just as like. This ore body now, according to our port structure, it's supposed to move that side. You have like a displacement that becomes the main ore body going further north. Even the exploration that we're doing, we're doing it further north on that ore body. This side terminates. Yeah. So those faults, they were quite low angle faults, weren't they, to the mineralization? Yeah, I think so. So that is it sort of like this? Is it, what, is it it's supposed to be uh, because this has moved to there. Yeah. So basically, you have a structure. Like yeah. Then uh, I was also talking about uh, graphite. Mm. This is black material, is graphite. Mm. Uh, then there are areas where you have just quasi calcite events. That's what you, I was calling. Uh, I was calling uh, BXQC. Then uh, there are areas where within the graphite you have a stockwork of quasi calcite events, mineralized. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. They are mineralized and it becomes what we're calling DXC. Yeah. So the challenge now in terms of processing is graphite is causing a huge problem in the flotation mm -hmm. If you have the XQC mm -hmm. then you can have you can have good mineralization but the flotation will be poor so mm -hmm. the recovery will also drop. Yeah, so that's just from this over. This, yeah, just this north pit. This is, no, no, exactly. It's, a so, it's the same. Yeah. Yeah. And the graphite continues into the salt. Continues into the salt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you don't see any sulfides in the pit. No, we have sulfides. Uh, it's only that here we are. I, I came here to slap the sea. You see, this is where this whole body starts. And we'll go with it this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That we found the sulfides was higher up compared to what we initially knew. Okay. So if you if you do it with profile, it will be like here. It's uh, it's up. Yeah. yeah. Is that because of vertical movement on the faults? Yeah, because uh, the, we have we have some some faults here. Yes, we did map some faults in this area. It's possible there yeah, might be some bit of movement. From there, again, we will now mine underground drives going all the way past here. So this all body goes another 800 meters from that place, going further south. So there's still a lot of uh, a lot of work to do. Yeah. So now you can see a little bit of this all lying around here. This was just a bad blast. Uh, this material came from, we were blasting down there. So that's 
Then, uh, like I was saying, in the north there, what we saw was in terms of geology, we had granite, then limestone, then we had the pressure and argillite. Here, where we are, we have granite, then the pressure, which is there now, and then the limestone and argillite. So there's a little bit of uh, a change in the positioning of the shear zone. Yeah. This one is low grade. Right? Yeah. Uh, we are not treating it now because there's a lot of graphite. The one with the vine? Yes. Yeah, a lot of uh, graphite. And I sometimes fluorite as well. Okay. Fluorite has been a problem for, for us in the plant. Ah, uh, because it floats. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, if you have but your fluorite levels behind the concept, yeah, yeah, the yeah. building is a problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are the more competent units here? Like there's the, the graphite bands. Yeah. But are those meta sediments or are those intrusions? Ah, uh, these are meta sediments. It's the same, the same okay. like that. Yeah. So it'd be kind of graphitic shale sandstone. Shale. I think the graphite comes with the mineralization. Yeah, yeah, it does come with yeah, the So the argillites would be yeah. here. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. But the graphite yeah. zones are the shear zones. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Um, they're starting from the, the, the foot, the, the hanging wall to the foot wall. You'll be able to appreciate um, what we're talking about, the, the quartz carbonate horizons, the, the graphite zones, and um, uh, the granite in, in some of these. And then um, I've got just two, one or two holes there that I, I had to drill on the um, near mine exploration site. Yeah, but typically we're looking at the same same um, rock suits, um, granite, uh, limestones, you get it to your quartz carbonate pressure uh, with some graphite zones. Um, so that will give you a chance to, to appreciate what you, you were not able to see um, nicely in the pit. But so just feel free to, to, to get through the core and um, yeah. But yeah. yeah, it didn't go very far, but um, it, it, it was one of the, the holes that went down to uh, a kilometer and two. To just we, we kept smuggling mineralization um, to a depth of a, 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 a thousand meters. Yeah, we still get some good pirates there. But it starts from the Karoo there, yeah, so you you go all the way, come through like that, and um, get out here. But this, this hole here is it one of the typical holes of um, in the exploration um, near mine that um, I had to do. So you'll be able to appreciate as well. You see similar similar um, rock types coming through, and um, the association is just um, the same. Oh, the yeah, yeah. red side. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's your okay. first one. You can pick up. Um. So what's the lighter pink color? Is it still quartz as well? Uh, this will be calcite, really. The whitish one of the quartz, eh? Yeah, so you can you can literally see the, yeah. the quartz and the, the calcite, uh, the, the quartz carbonate um, association. It's very, very... And this area is this this more siliceous stuff is earlier, and then you have these later. Yeah, exactly. Pink so I am glad you're able to, to see that. So and this is why we say yeah, the phases of this solution. There was an earlier one that got deformed, and then there was another later uh, injection of this. And, yeah. So and that's where most of your copper is, is in this later. Yeah. Yeah. You, you do get uh, even in the earlier one, so depending, uh, but uh, much of it. Actually, the more recent one is more or less barren, but yeah, the one that, like we said, was associated with the D3 was yeah. the one that uh, we had. Um, and that's for more, more sulfides. That's the yeah. more pinker one where you get this exactly. sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah.